welcome or welcome back to my channel uh, if you see blender in the background um that's another application we're gonna use later on but um in today's or um for today's video i have decided to make a tutorial on how i make my roleplay gfx thumbnails because this was higher highly requested from a lot of you and I finally gotten around to do it, doing it because I've been getting a lot of thumbnail commissions recently and I thought it would be the perfect time to do it. So usually I load up Roblox Studio and I add my characters in. You'll need this plugin called Load Character. So this person provided their username but not really for a date. Well, I'm just going to use this for the avatar base because yeah. But you, once you have your avatar or an avatar that you want for the GFX thumbnail or just a thumbnail in general. Okay, so you want um, if there's like any accessories on and you want to change the accessories or add on to the accessories, you can do that. But um, just by going over to Explorer and then right clicking and then pressing delete on your keyboard or backspace. We're just simply right clicking and then going to delete. Usually, um, I ask my, um, ask the people who want to order for me to send codes because that would be really appreciated. So it would be so much freaking easier. And then you just want to add the accessories by simply, oh yeah, you also need another plugin called Load Catalog um, Items. And I'll leave both of these plugins in the description. Then you just want to simply just drag it down to the avatar. And there you go. You have added your first accessory. So you just want to keep doing the same thing by um, just adding it. And now I'm just changing the body color to match. And then after you're done adding all the accessories, you can just go ahead back up to Explorer and then right clicking on the um, username and then click rename so you can um, add that for the, um, save that as, or paste the user and save as, or, well, I'm using a Mac, so it will be different. Just uh, save it as the username because so it so will be easier to um, find it in Blender. And then I usually save it in a folder and usually I recommend this to be more organized instead of just having everything on your desktop. And I'm not going to show the other, um, the other outfit cut since there's twins and i already showed how to add the outfit codes on but usually um whenever i don't have to do a face uh, like one of these faces i go to also fix the skin tone so that's why i'm also i'm gonna fast forward but um i usually go to models and then images and toolbox and then i start to browse face browse and then this is where I get all my brows for, um, the face. 
but you have to go to head like over here and then over back at an explorer and then you want to duplicate or right click and then duplicate the face so then there's then two faces then you can oops, um So then there's two faces. So then you can like do brows and then face eyes. This is literally what you'll start, uh, find every animated, animated eyes. So yeah. And then face extra, you can get extras like blush, tears, all that, um, yeah. And then, last one would be mouse, the mouse. And then there's all the mouse you can use. Yeah. Pretty simple, you just have to right click. You just have to right click and then copy asset ID and then go back over to appearance and make sure one of the faces checked and then go to texture and then copy, paste that ID and then if you want to keep adding more then keep duplicating the face and then make make sure it's on the right face so it doesn't duplicate on or so it doesn't change the other part of the face and then yeah just export your avatar to blender and that's how you add outfit or that's how you add codes on roblox studio so I'll see you guys over on Blender. You want to, okay, I'll also link the um, rig to for um, uh, Blender 2.79 since that's the version I use to make my GFX or do my th thumbnails and do my commissions on. So, yeah. Um, so first off, you wanna start by clicking one of these rings and then going down to pose, pose mode and then selecting object mode. And then you wanna select, press shift and, well, hold shift and right click the limbs like this arm and then the torso and the other arm, the hand, the other hand, left and right leg. And then of course, don't forget about the um, ring at the bottom. And then you just wanna press duplicate and then you have duplicated your rig and then you can start adding the texture so i usually just click the ring again and i select pose mode for both of them so now to add texture you want to click one of the limbs i usually choose arm and then you want to come over to this pink little circle thing and then you want to go to this other pink little circle thing and then click eyes and then you want to click this little file icon under image texture and then find your file your texture file and i'm doing a different commission i showed a different commission for like doing outfit codes i'm going to do a different commission for actually making the thumbnail since um i meant to finish it yesterday but i completely forgot about it but because I had a class and yeah but you want to um select the um usually usually it's the last um texture like the highest number but this time it was number one so check all all of them and if you don't get the right texture, try the first one or the last one. Then you just wanna, if you can't do the arms, then just click on the ring and then do object mode so you can, so it's easier access to um, click all the limbs. But right now it's pretty good, so I'm just gonna add the texture right now. So you, all you have to do is click the same thing and repeat that. And then to 
add the other texture you just want to see shoot I added the wrong texture but it doesn't really matter what texture you add just add a different texture I meant to add this one though Oh shoot, I meant to, I need to export the, that app part first. We'll fix that in a second, but um, do the same exact thing, except go to the second one, so it doesn't ruin the first texture, or um, become the same as the first texture. And, find your other file, and click whatever uh, handle either the first or last texture it's it all depends honestly so so now i can change the um texture for and if you accidentally like import the wrong texture, you can just go back to the file icon and change the texture as I'm doing. So now we have both our di different textures and now it's time to add the head. So you just wanna go to file, import and wave front, OVJ or dot OBJ. And then find your file that you um, save the um, avatars, well, usernames to, or just avatars to. And yeah. And just delete all the limbs except for the, <clears throat> except for the um, face accessories. And just basically all the, um, just ahead. Basically, literally just ahead. And then click join. And then set origin, origin to geometry. And then go over to rotation and type 180. And then fix the head position. So it looks normal, I guess. Okay. Then you want to do the exact same thing, just do for the other avatar or the other character. Art, we will be, um, um, well, I will be showing you how you can make your GFX a skinny rig or, you know, normal rig, what I said on the form. Okay, so you know how your, um, you know, your software, like, defaults to the, um, mouse or the cursor. You want to go to the last one, the third one, where there's, like, an arrow with, like, a square, and then you want to, um, um, you want to select a red, the, um, the red square thing, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, the red, <laughs> just the red arrow in general, and then you want to slide it to the left to make it skinny. Anyways, and then you want to press or hold shift, and then make sure that's also clicked, and then you want to go back to the cursor icon, and then you want to scale it down to the appropriate um the appropriate um size um, i also usually save all my um files as a different as a different file instead of just default blend i um go to file and then click save as and then it should default to your downloads already but just type whatever you want honestly and then next we will be adding a different rig to this gfx so all you want to do is go to file and then append or shift f1 and then you want to go to i'll also link all my rigs i use in this video in the description of course 
so robux rig underscore boy and then you want to go to rig either one doesn't really matter but i usually go with a and then default blend and then and then drag your mouse all the way through so all these things are selected then you pin to library and then you want to move this out of the way because you you'll be deleting like all this excess later but start with the um gray bricks first to get rid of those to see the actual head and then delete the eyes and the head and then the the mouth and also the little pop-ups that come up and then of course the tongue so now you can drag your um rig back over to the others and then simply just go back over here with pressing shift and f and of course moving with your um cursor and then you just want to right click on one of the blocks and then simply just press b or just hold b and then drag your mouse through all of the um excess like meshes and then click x on your keyboard and then click delete and then now you can add the texture of this rig so simply just do the same thing except go to this little block and you also um pull this little thing down there should be a arrow that appears and then go to the block on the side or the left side and then Go down to node editor, then scroll with your mouse or trackpad, and then click the file icon under image texture. And then find your texture for the um, rig or for the um, avatar that you exported from studio a while back. And then you can close the window, the second window when you see the little plus sign arrow i guess you could say and um yeah in the corner and then now you can add the head for this rig by literally just doing the same exact thing over again And how I click, like, um, select multiple parts of the head is I just hold shift and then right click on each of the um, accessories or hair or face. And then I join them together and then set to origin. And then I rotate it to 180 or what's 180 or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes the head doesn't move into the proper placing so you're gonna have to move it manually with the arrows now that you have your textures are like now that you have your textures and your rigs all set up now you can add the model and you, you just have to find a model on roblox studio and then export that selection to blender and then do the same thing import wavefront obj and then I put it in my models folder, folder, so it should be somewhere in there. Okay, now that your model has loaded, just uh, set to origin to geometry. And then it may be a little laggy, at least for me, because the model has loaded in and it's like way over here. So you want to turn it around so it faces the right way. And then you just want to use the arrows to bring it back. And also the rotation tool. But now you're basically ready to start posing at everything, so. Yeah. Make sure it's not at an angle. I mean, you can have it at an angle, I just rather have it straight. Oh my gosh, what happened to the. Okay, that's really awkward, but I kind of like it. Look, oh my. It actually looks kind of cool. Um, but now you can just start posing.
But if you can't see the little circle thing on the bottom of the rig, then you can just go to material mode and then go back to texture. And then once you're ready to add your camera, all you want to do is go down to add and then um, click camera and then view camera and then position it however, however you want to. You know my order when we're out to eat and you pay for me Cause I don't wanna be someone loving, loving, looking dumb But you don't care you go on and make me feel things that I don't want to feel So I get scared Every time you open up, I'm shutting down Every time you come in, I push you out Saying I don't want you, but you know I do Cause I hate to love you, so I love to hate you With that perfect smile And I don't like All the compliments you're always giving me Is this even real? Cause I don't wanna be that girl Falling hard and getting hurt But you don't care And I also change up the model a little bit, like I just go to the little pink render thing and I change the color to couch, all you have to do is click on the color and just change it to whatever color you want, same with the pillows, do whatever you want and then I'm about to do it to the wall too. Every time you open up, I'm shutting down. Every time you come in, I push you out. Saying I don't want you, but you know I do. But yeah, this will take this is taking a lot longer to pose and stuff, so I'll be back with you guys very shortly. What you want to do now is check the resolution on the right side of the screen or of Blender, I guess you could say. And make sure it's it the X or um the first one is twelve eighty by seven twenty and then keep scrolling until you see well, technically, it doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to do normal since I'm not adding a background right now, so, yeah. Um, um, but if you want to make it uh, transparent, all you have to do is just do, all you just have to do is select PNG and then RGBA. But other than that, just leave it as FFM, FFMPEG video or whatever and then um, make sure I usually always have the exposure set to 1.12 but it all but it all depends on the lighting of what it looks like and I don't really need it to be transparent but if you do want it transparent then just um, have that option checked 
and we don't really have to do anything about this part. Next, we have the like picture frame thing. I don't even know, but this is where the noising is. So make sure this, make sure this, um, and this box is checked because if it's not checked, your quality, the quality of the GFX is not gonna be good. And we want it to be good for a thumbnail especially. So yeah, you don't really need anything in this one. So hop over to um, the world icon. And I recommend you don't use the ambient inclusion option, but you can add like lamps for like extra light if the HDRI does not work. Um, but um, usually I always use abandoned parking for my HDRI eyes from my HDRIs and um, make sure the color is environment texture well actually you have to um, you have to add the um, texture to environment and then that's good on that section and then you can also add embossed texture but I recommend you don't really add embossed texture since um, there's three, there, there's multiple rigs. I recommend you just keep it because you can't really do anything about it. I mean, you can, but it'll just be a little bit more work. And it'll probably take a lot longer to render. So, yeah, I don't recommend you do anything. So, um, once you have everything, ev everything double checked, I guess you could say, and usually before I render, I, like, check this a few times to make sure, like, everything's good whenever it renders if you see this that means it's good so just uncheck it and then save it one more time if you save it as a file and then go to render and then render image and then your thumbnail will start rendering and I'm going to um, skip ahead until it's done rendering so we don't have to wait this this long we're just gonna wait until it actually starts a little bit and then we'll go on from there and you can also use your like mouse if you have a wireless mouse you can just use the um, little wheel to scroll in and out in and out <laughs> until it starts loading I mean I just do it for fun, honestly, because it's... Wee! <laughs> there we go. Kind of works, actually, not gonna lie. And it's gonna take one hour to render, so good thing I'm gonna skip ahead until this is finished rendering, and then we can move on to the next part. So, I'll see you guys then. It didn't take an hour to render, but it took quite a while to render. But, um, it's now done, so... Once it's done rendering, all you have to do is go down here to where it says image and save it as image or you can click F3. Then you can save it wherever you want. I have a folder for like all my commissions that I save it to and then you of course can name it whatever. So, and save it as image. Wait for a little bit and then it should be in your um, folder should be in your folder where we saved it so you can now exit out of blender and you can save it one more time and then exit out I'll put an emoji up on the screen now so you can comment for a shout out in the next video if you watch this far into the video congrats and I'm very very proud of you uh, for staying with me um, with um, all my mishaps but um, yeah let's get back into it so you want to now um, search up or go on Google and search Pixlr E on your browser and then you want to click create new and then thumbnail where it says thumb 720p or 1280 times 720 pixels click that and then create edit you don't really have to name it either but then you want to go to layer and then add image as a layer and then go to the, um, go to the, um, place where you saved your thumbnail as. And you might have to re-render it if you close out of it. 
or you might just have to go back to a blender and then save it again. But um, next, I usually shade my GFXs. So how I do this is I go to layer and I go to new layer and then I switch between white and black. So we're gonna do black first and then we're gonna use the draw tool or the little brush icon. And then we're gonna and then we're gonna shrink the size to 12. At least that's what I have it on whenever I shade. So all you really want to do is just make little outlines. I was kissing you with my eyes open. But you said you said keep them close and be in the moment. So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted. But what about what I want? What about what I want? And what I wanted was to crash with my dumb friends on the weekends that are watching the movie. But you wanted me to be what you need instead of being me. Oh, and that's how I knew it. I guess I never loved you like I love me. I guess I never loved you, and that's okay with me. Cause someday I love someone like I love. Everything I believed in But you said, you said Shut it off, you're too old for dreaming So I did, I did Did my best to feel what you're feeling But what about what I want? What about what I want? Cause what I wanted was to laugh at the way you laugh at the And I know that probably felt a little lengthy, but if you want me to shade your GFX, just send it to me and I will be honestly glad, I would go, I'll be glad to do it for you if, it, if you don't want to spend that much time outlining and all that stuff. But once you have everything outlined, all you want to do is go to filter and then details, blur, and move this over because yeah, and then move the slider all the way up to a hundred and then you want to right click on the layer and then where it says blend mode select overlay and then i usually have it set to 39 but you probably have to play around with it to whatever you want so i'm probably gonna probably i don't know i'll probably put it to like 29 no I'll probably put it to like 31 for now and then next you want to switch over to the white and then add a new layer make sure that layer is clicked or selected and then go back to the brush icon and then change the brush the brush the brush size to um I, 60 something da, 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 you can change it to whatever just make it bigger than the black one and then now you can start just highlighting all the like all the um black or just all the dark dark areas i guess on the gfx we fall asleep. i mean this part's optional but i like to do it with the white and black you pay for me Cause I don't wanna be someone Loving, loving, looking dumb But you don't care You go on and make me feel Things that I don't wanna feel So I get All you wanna do is do the same exact thing By going up to filter And then going to details And then blur again And then move the slider up to 100 and then click the same layer 
and not the same layer but the layer that I uh, like the lighter part on just select overlay and all you want to do is move the slider or the slider opacity down to whatever you prefer for the lighting yeah yeah um I might change this to like 29 maybe and honestly there you have it um all you want to do now is if you're done you just want to go up to file and then save or control s and then make sure the quality is a hundred which is recommended well J jpd is what recommended and you want to save it as a file on your desktop or just your computer or download folder um you can name it whatever you want And yeah, there you have it. Um, your finished uh, thumbnail product, and now it's ready to be uploaded as a thumbnail. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you, and if it did, please make sure to leave a comment and maybe like the video if you want to. Um, subscribe if you want to, and thank you so, so much guys. I'm like so very grateful for 1.1k or 1,100 subscribers. Like. You guys mean the absolute world to me, and like I'm of course very grateful for each and every one of you. But thank you all so much for watching. I love you all, and see you guys in the next one. Bye!